so that turned out pretty freaking sweet so that like blue halo was already in there so now it looks just like double sweet so how do you feel about this half marathon that's about to happen you don't feel about it? Let the countdown begin here in just a moment. I hope you guys are excited because I am too. Runners, when you guys start here, you're going to take a left and then go down to the main intersection of Long Grove. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Have a great race. been to Long Grove before but this is like the smallest town ever it looks like it was built in the 20s or like I don't know the 1800s or something just like this is a bar or something but while she's gonna be gone for two hours I do get the, the added bonus of things like fountains Seriously though, this is kind of cool, like cobblestone paths and stuff, this is, you know, theoretically it looks like a place where a town might hang out, but like, you know, it's just funny because all that, and this is definitely somebody's photography studio. I'll be damned if those mailboxes aren't on a hitching post. This is just really cool. I mean, like, it's kind of funny, though. You see how this place is. It's still got Ameritech branding on stuff. There's a well. There's legit a well. It appears to be a wishing well. There's, uh... There's no water, though. I feel like wishing wells require water, so I don't, I don't think it works. Even the freaking gas station looks like it's from the 50s. So I'd like to continue my explanation of the situation of the 100, the Nexus 100, which really hasn't been the Nexus 100 as originally intended. So originally the Nexus 100 was meant to be me taking that 100 day challenge, that making, 100, making comics for 100 days, amping it up, right? Doing it Nexus is how I say it. So I was like, I'm gonna do it Nexus style, right? I'm gonna do it Nexus style. I'm gonna do everything, right? So that was kind of the whole original premise. It was 30 minutes a day for the comic, also going to the gym, also, every single day then would have an hour dedicated to basically a section of the company. And each day had kind of its own thing. That fell apart very, 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 very quickly. And I ended up doing less and less of the additional stuff. And I focused very much on the comic. I'm still calling it the Nexus 100 because it's still a book for Nexus. The, the, the Wolfpack comic is for Nexus. Uh, it's not my personal creation. Uh, I am essentially developing it. I have been developing it with others uh, within the company for the last, I I'm going to call it nine years at this point. I want to say it was 2008 when we sat down and decided that was the book that we were going to work on first. And not even that that was going to be the first book we were going to work on. It was just that that was the most developed concept we had at the time. Ended up just really just working on the book. I'm still calling it the Nexus 100 because the book is part of Nexus and other things within Nexus have to happen for... That is nice, man. I, I'm not going to lie. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy a Cadillac, but jeez. So other things within Nexus have to happen to make... Wolfpack, like a tangible reality. Wolfpack itself is 
it was originally planned to be a published book, like a, a single page, single uh, issues, and then subsequently, um, subsequently a you know collected volume, etc. It's kind of like, you know the standard comic book process. When it turned, when, when I got to the script portion and decided that it was going to be ten page books, I didn't really have a way to make that into a you know something like I could pad an additional 11 pages but there's no point right there's no there's really no point to just pad out a book like that so I decided all right well we're gonna do it digitally and to do it digitally we had to have our site done and the site was original and here's the thing kind of a lot of I don't want to say everything about Nexus works this way but a lot of the idea of Nexus is that everything feeds its like it feeds itself, right? So we produce. I mean, like Nexus is a company. So let's let's say let's 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 do like a, a a visual explanation. Nexus is at the center of everything, right? Nexus is like that is the company. That is the company name. That is what makes everything else happen. The idea is to do client work like graphic design, web design, you know, logos. I, I mean, I've done pamphlets, I've done, we were doing this children's book that's still in progress, by the way, just like a quick update, still not done. So we do all these other things to get money to be able to do the creative stuff, right? The, the idea is to limit outside influence as much as possible. So whether that be Perfect. Hey, I figured this out without having to use GPS. We got our way back to the thing. So yeah, we do we do the client work to fund to fund the creative work, right? And fund everything else. So I don't want to have to do like investors to launch like a game or an app or you know a comic book or whatever. Like I I don't look down on crowdfunding or any of that stuff. I mean I think it's like literally probably the best thing that's ever happened to the creative medium ever nope not, not here but it's definitely it's not a preferred option uh i mean i see a lot of people i see a lot of people going through it and it's like not only now do you have to produce your book but you also have to produce all this additional material you have to produce you know all your backer rewards you have to I mean you have to put in double, triple the amount of work. So you have the Nexus, Catalyst Publishing or Write My Epic is the idea, like the altruistic aspect of Nexus. Catalyst Publishing is intended to be a place for indie creators to be able to put their stuff up, lose zero dollars and get money from it, right? So 100% profit from that content going to the creator. So that is where we wanted to publish Wolfpack. Wolfpack was gonna go to Catalyst because, cat, like again, it would feed itself. So Wolfpack on Catalyst would add to the Catalyst revenue, so that all would then maintain the Catalyst site, right? So Wolfpack and other content that we put up on Catalyst would feed Catalyst and pay for it, while all the other indie creator content would pay the indie creators, which is why we don't have to which is why we don't have to actually take money from the creators. So that's another portion. We've got Deadweight Games, which is kind of like a, a right now very stagnant thing. That's something I was trying to work on uh, because it's potentially long term our biggest, you know, potential earning source. And then of course we have T3G, which is essentially like our media arm, right? Our creative, our, our like visual motion vid whatever video it's video it's all about video uh so that's you know it originally like t3g originally was a tech channel we were just going to be tech reviewers and then it kind of just grew and it grew and like we were like well we were, let's talk about movies let's talk about let's go to a comic convention let's go to a car show and it just really all grew and then we did vlogs and i've taken the vlogs and do and, and i'm doing the vlogs as well as doing the nexus 100 so to that end, I am now back at the, uh, the half marathon location. I'm gonna go see if my wife is done. It's been about two and a half hours, so I think she should be done soon, if not already.
get this uh, this book that was a commission in the mail, and I pull it out. And it's got this thing in it. Look at this guy trying to advertise to me. This this freaking guy trying to advertise to me. A paying customer. This guy. That is just money. Look at that. That is that is lovely. That just is outstanding. Thanks for the great work, guys. All right. Well, it's late. Well, I'm, che I'm checking my fake watch. It's late. I've got to get some sleep because we are going. Hottest and I are going to a uh, Lexus experience tomorrow. So that should be a fun video. Uh, I put in a little bit more time on the website. Um, Put some put some feelers out there today about what people are looking for from a digital publishing platform. Um, some stuff to strive for, some stuff to to look to build in the future. Not something I'm currently capable of. I mean, it's really just kind of the the level that I and we are at. Uh, it's just not something that's feasible at this point. But uh, definitely some ideas to keep in mind to to build on later. Uh, I feel like something catalyst could something could possibly become something like what what Mike brought up. Um, guys seemed interested in that, so I mean I feel like that's something that could build into that. Uh, I do want to say, uh, Mike and Gaz, I, no hard feelings whatsoever. I I, un I understand why like the confusion was there. I there's a lot of I mean like 15 computers behind me. I, I you know do builds and all this kind of stuff. There's a ton of stuff going on on T3G, which is actually why we're going to switch the, the vlog stuff to another channel. Completely understandable why it's not quite, it's not, uh, what's the word, it's not on brand, right? It's not on message. <laughs> um, it's completely understandable, completely zero hard feelings, like nothing, nothing on you guys. I just, I wanted to clarify my position. I hope I make more sense now. I hope... I've clarified like why I feel like there was a confusion. Um, I don't know. I'll probably talk more about this. I feel like I should make like a little intro for the last twenty. So like, it's this is day eighty. This is day eighty. Successful day eighty. Uh, I feel like I should make a little intro for the last the last twenty just to talk about like this is what this is. <laughs> um, maybe I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna get some sleep. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.